In this video, we're going to review how to set up the click receiver, click transmitter scripts I gave you guys uh, in class. So, here's a few things that it can do. Um, these boxes, I can click on them, and it's not my mouse cursor that's moving, it's actually the center of the screen right here that's clicking on it. So, right here, I'm going to click on the green box, and those platforms just moved up. Uh, and I can also click uh, on this red or blue blue cube. It makes this red wall. Now we can see it. Before it was just an invisible wall, but now I see it. And if I click uh, right here, it makes that wall disappear. And if I click this, it makes this fall. So this is all with the same script. So the basic way that this works is this is us, this is our I, and say we have a couple things we're possibly looking at, and say our camera is looking in this direction. So what this is going to do is it's going to take this central point here, and it's going to draw a straight line in that direction until it hits something. So it missed this box, but it hits this one. And when it hits this one, it gives us back that information that it hit it. So just very quickly, that's what this is. If we click, we're going to get the position of our eyes. We're going to do a line cast. That's what, the, that's what this is called, a line cast. We're going to start at our position. We're going to go our position plus the direction of our camera where we're looking. We have a, a range limit, so we can't click super far away. And then we're going to see if what we clicked has a click transmitter. So if click transmitter is not null, so we got what we clicked on has a click transmitter, we're going to go look at every single click receiver. That's find objects, click receiver, every single one and we're going to tell it that we just clicked something of that code. So the click receiver here is, uh, this is what happens when it's activated. It says, um, okay, should we move? Move. Okay, should we add a rigid body? Okay, add a rigid body. Should we remove a box collider? Okay, do that should we do this okay do that and so you can even add your own and if you set it up in unity this green box here has a click transmitter because that's what i'm clicking it's going to transmit the code 100 and every item that has that code right here click receiver has a code of 100 it's going to do this in this case it's going to move up 25. It's going to take one second. I could also do other things if I wanted, so it would do everything at once. And in the case of that red wall, um, one thing here, this click receiver t destroys it. So when we click this red one, it destroys the wall. But there's another click receiver with a different frequency that's going to enable it. And this similarly, this purple one has a different code, 140. When we click purple, it's going to, this one has a receiver of a 140. It's going to add rigid body, and it's as simple as that. And uh, what you click on has to have a, a collider. And just to show the whole setup from scratch, um, I'm going to create, let's say, a sphere. So I'm going to be clicking on this sphere. Uh, I'm going to make it blue. And when I click on this sphere, I will want this cube here. I'm going to add a click receiver. Frequency, let's say 200. I'm going to add a rigid body to this cube. And I'm actually going to just copy it a bunch. Why not? And you can have the same frequency do more things. Um, destroy. This cube will be destroyed. And you can even have, say, a 
Oh, this um, the sphere we click needs a click transmitter, frequency 200. And the transmitter can also be a receiver. So it can receive its own signal, let's say. And it's going to move up five in two, three seconds. So you can really combine a lot of little, little things with this. When I click this, lots of things happen. Those cubes fell, the sphere went up, and that other cube was destroyed.